Hi, this is Corrine, and today I'm sharing a completed custom ordered album with you. This album measures approximately eight by six, and the spine is about three inches. And she had asked me to use Cartabella's Rockabye Baby and Echo Park's Bundle of Joy. And I did also add another paper pack to it, Baby Boy 2 by Sherry K Designs. It tied in very nicely with both paper collections and it all went to get together very well. So on the front here, I used a piece of the pattern paper on um, the base of the album. And then these two layered papers that I layered together, I did add a piece of chipboard behind it so it has some dimension. And then I added some crystal Crystal Nouveau drops in white. And this beautiful sentiment here I got from the online Silhouette America store. It says, every family has a story, welcome to ours. And then here is the baby's name. And this frame here, for the um, clear plastic, I used Heartfelt Creations clear cardstock. So it's a really heavy, clear cardstock. But I did leave the frame slightly open. So if the mom wants to add, she can add a three and a quarter by three and a quarter photo behind it. There is a piece of tape right here on the back of the frame that she can use like a paper piercer or um, some tweezers to pull off the backing and then press it down. So if she doesn't want to add a photo, she can just press this frame down or leave it as it is, but I would press it down or add the photo and then press it down. On the spine here, I used some sticky back canvas and then I added baby's first year that I designed and cut out with my silhouette. Wanted to keep the spine fairly simple. And then the same paper on the back. So this is a baby's full one year album. So it goes through the entire 12 months of the baby's first year. As you can see, I did it out of craft cardstock. It went gorgeous with these paper collections. And I like to give some sort of continuity to the album. Um, so what I did is on every page on the right, it's a pocket that's gonna hold uh, a place for more photos, little journaling cards and milestone cards. And then on the left, she asked me to include a four by four photo mat. So every page on the left is gonna have a four and an eighth by four and an eighth craft cardstock photo mat. So when she places the photo on it, it's gonna leave just a nice little border of the craft. And then it also will have a four and a quarter by four and a quarter colored mat, whatever colored uh, I went with um, to coordinate with that page. So on the front here, I did um, this die cut that uh, I purchased from the online silhouette store and all of these have been doubled. The cardstock has been doubled. That way they're strong. So when she slips photos behind it, I don't have to worry about them. This welcome baby has been, this is from the paper collection and it's been popped up slightly with some chipboard. This place photo here stamp, there's, I don't recommend where I purchased mine from. It was a disaster, but I ended, I did end up getting it a couple months later. But if you just search for place photo here stamps, you'll find tons of them. On the right here, I have the baby's name again. It says, welcome little one, new arrival love the paper collections and then every single pocket will have a four and an eighth by six and an eighth photo mat perfect for a four by six photo so in this album she's going to get four by four photos and four by six photos and then she can also add more to the pockets as well but this will hold two photos here or journaling on the back to the photo so this is the baby being born information this is from the paper collection it's a three by four same here it says special delivery perfect to add photos to the back or journaling. And then every single pocket I designed um, a milestone card. So this is the welcome little one. Again, it has the baby's name on it. It has birthday, time, weight, height, hospital, and the doctor. So the mom can write the birth story or uh, add a photo, whatever she'd like to do. This is a great way to keep track of the baby for the year because we the babies grow so fast and they change so much as we know that you forget the little things. So I documented my son um, his first year and wow, I look back and I don't even remember half this stuff. You're so busy and working still and taking care of a baby. It's it's tough. So these albums are, are meant to make it super simple. The mom adds photos, some journaling, and then she'll always have this keepsake. So every pocket has this pocket specifically has two in it some 
Most have one and then there's one or two that have two in it and they're going to be designated for that month. So this one's welcome little one. Again, perfect to add tons of journaling, little photos, larger photos. And then, so when she pulls it out on this side, it's going to be the first month for the first month page. I designed this little scalloped edge on my cameo. And these fit perfectly in there. So here, that brings us to month one. I use this cute little bear. Again, he's doubled so and left open so the mom can just slide her photo right underneath. Love this paper back here. On this side, I did this little border that came in the collection. I added a one to the shirt because this is for one month. And I made sure to, on all the pocket pages, include the month in it as well. Again, love this paper collection. So the four by six photo mats. Here's the month one and all of them will have coordinating months. It has height, weight, milestones. And so the mom can jot all that stuff down, add a photo to the back or add more journaling. And then here's the cute little cards. I do custom orders. So if you're ever interested, you can just email me. Oh, this is probably my favorite. This is for the two month. Look at this paper. I love it. I added a scallop green border, this cute little giraffe. I added a blue border to the background of this. Here it says two months. I tied in the brown that's in this paper. Here's the uh, photo mat, milestone card, has two months on it. This is from the paper collection. I added a journaling card to it that I backed with some cardstock. This is a three by four, so I added a three and a quarter by four and a quarter cardstock mat. I did that to a lot of them throughout the album. Again, I won't pull all of these out, but all of them are going to have the month on it. This side, this says Little Miracle. This is from the paper collection. This cute little hippo um, added this blue matting. This one here I added, this comes from the paper collection and then three months right there. This has a very, it will not, I'm sure will not pick up on camera, very tone on tone green. It has green polka dots on it, but it's really hard to see on camera. It's, it's very faint, very pretty. It goes perfect with the collection. Again, the photo mat. cute little 10 favorites list that I backed on cardstock and then these adorable little journaling cards. This side here again this has been popped up it says love you always I added a little train on here and then handsome boy with a white scallop border and it says four months right here. Got that gorgeous stripe pattern. And then another little journaling card that I backed on cardstock and then this little card that comes in the collection. This side I have this little tab that says I love you, you are loved little one, I'll love you forever. Left open, mom can place the photo right behind it and underneath. On this side I have a um, scallop with that star paper in it, it says five months. Another little journaling card. So this album can hold a lot of photos. This on this side is a little banner that I only adhered down on either side so she can slide her photo under. And on this side I did a white scallop border. Um, it says tiny, adorable, newborn baby, cute, precious, sweet blessing. And then I have six months here. Cute star paper, I like that. Here's a larger journaling card of four by six, twinkle, twinkle, little star, perfect for photos, journaling. There's the six month and then another little journaling card. On this side, I have a little banner that it says, that's my boy, this cute little mouse. And here I did a little um, clothesline. I added a red heart to the front there. It says seven months right there.
the brown ties in with the brown. And then another little journaling card. On this side, I added, this is a, um, a large bean. It has the definition of baby. And then I added the baby's name to it before cutting it out. So that's really cute. This little miracle, it says eight months. I have a white scallop here. I love this. And then this little journaling card, it says baby boy. Here for nine months, this cute little hamster. And I love the checker paper. On this side, I have nine months. I have a scallop. And then this is the baby's initials. And then this again is one that has two scallops to it. So on this side, it's nine months to go with the nine months. And then on this side, it's 10 months. And those just tuck right in the side there. On this side, I have um, this beautiful navy paper that comes in the collection. And it says, I'm kind of a big deal. I added that to it along with this sweet boy and this cute little pajama sleeper. Here it shows 10 months. Another little scalloped edge with that um, star paper. I like the blue and white polka dot. Here's for the 10 months. And then a journaling card. On this side, this is for 11 months, and I put it on the little baby bottle here. This is adhered down, so the photos and journaling cards just slide right behind it. On this side, I have um, baby boy, this gorgeous paper, and then the little hearts that coordinate. Cute paper. Here's the journaling card. Two more. This is so cute. And lastly, for the baby's first birthday, I have, again, the photo mat. I added some balloons with the baby's name on it. It says, happy birthday. You can barely see it, but there are strings that go down behind the photo mat. And then I added a little um, bow for the balloons. Um, this little label that says, I love you so. And then it, across here, there's a banner that says, birthday, happy first, 12 months. Again, it's more of that really tone on tone. It's really pretty. It goes perfect in the collection. And then some journaling cards from the collection. Here's the photo mat, the milestone card. So again, the mom can add photos for the first birthday in here. And then plus she'll have um, this pullout mat too. So I hope you've enjoyed this peek through. I hope it inspires you to make an album. If you have any questions, leave me a comment. And if you ever want a custom ordered album, just email me uh, for more information. Thanks so much for watching.